I don't believe so. I know that the uh, newspapers have been saying that Monsieur Chirac has already instructed the commissioners to award the contract to Lagardère. My impression is that these commissioners are independent, they're very bright, very experienced people, and uh, I, I would say it is open, it's a two-horse race, one of us has got to win. Mr. Maxwell departed in an optimistic mood, busy already with the next project. But independent observers, however, feel that the Buick consortium's unlikely to win. I'd say the Buick team was uh, not as good as the Hachette team. Mr. Maxwell wrote from a prepared text in halting French. Mr. Buick was very pedestrian. The only man that had some uh, charisma was Bernard Tapie, the industrialist. On the other hand, the Hachette team were very efficient. They were much more precise in what they wanted to do. Christine Ockrant, um, who's a TV star here, presented her view of what the news should be in very clear, concise terms and was definitely a star. And on performance alone, I would say the Hachette team won hands down. The Commission's decision will be announced by the end of next week. Whatever the outcome, the British participants here agree that the kind of televised public forum we've seen today is an excellent idea, and they hope that the British will adopt a similar system when it comes to awarding lucrative television contracts. Jane Corbyn, ITN, Paris. And who, you never knew the difference between taking a gamble with his money and other people's money, and uh, he was a man who didn't really feel answerable to anyone at all other than his own self-interest. In New York tonight, millionaire socialite Taki Theodora Kopulos claimed Maxwell was also a heavy gambler in casinos, losing up to a quarter of a million pounds a night. In the week before he died, Taki claimed Maxwell's roulette losses could have been as high as a million and a half. He would first of all ring and say, prepare three tables for me, and everybody would be pu pushed off away. They'd rope it off with a nice silk rope. And then he'd go in there and play three roulette tables at a time, sometimes two, sometimes three. And, uh, of course, it's suicide. Mirror columnist Anne Robinson said the monster side of Maxwell was only just emerging. If he had used staff pension funds to bail himself out, it was unforgivable. She described Maxwell as the master of the legal loophole. I mean, he robbed people of their judgment because they were instantly frightened of him. And, you know, you look back and you think, well, surely on... on the bankers' first day in banking school, they learn about people who are going to bully them into lending money when they don't have the backup for them. I mean, what were all these people lending him money for, except he was able to frighten people?